Farther along the south coast at Dungeness in Kent, we take a look at a famous lighthouse, a great structure that has become, like many others around our island shores, a symbol of our seafaring heritage. Much has been written in fact and fiction about the lighthouse service, so that although most of us have never been inside one, it all seems familiar. The radio beacon, transmitting a signal every five minutes so that ships can get a navigational fix. And halfway up, the subsidiary light, which is also principally an aid to navigation. Finally, the main light at the top, burning two and a quarter pints of paraffin from tanks at the base of the lighthouse every hour. The light shines through 600 prisms mounted in 10 panels, giving 10 beams of light that can be seen 17 miles on a clear night, equivalent to 164,000 candle power. So much for the equipment we normally associate with lighthouses. Now we visit what could pass for a flying saucer factory at Crawley, where the lighthouse equipment of tomorrow is designed and built. Just to reassure you, they're not flying saucers, by the way, merely the new turret that houses the light. Craftsmanship plays a tremendously important role in this type of work, and Mr. Len Seddon, the supervising optics assembly foreman, has been doing work like this for 40 years. Here, he's fitting a bullseye lens in a unit for a lighthouse off Trinidad. As you'll have gathered, electricity is fast replacing paraffin and an automatic lamp changer ensures against possible bulb failure. The changer is operated by a mercury switch which also sounds an alarm bell to inform the keeper. For use on a light ship, we find a really ingenious piece of apparatus called a multicatoptric. Its purpose is to keep the light level however much the ship rolls. Remember, it's the optical system and not the light that you can see revolving. Little risk of a power breakdown here, for the modern lighthouse has three generators to fall back on if necessary. In fact, the keeper of today has to be trained as an electrician as well as for other lighthouse duties. A brilliant invention is this fog detector, sending out a beam of light which bounces off any approaching fog bank to give the keeper advance warning. It can't be long now before the detectors are designed to automatically trigger off fog signals in which recent scientific advances have also been made. The lighthouse service has a fine record and it's good to know that with the help of British engineers that great tradition will be carried on.